good stuff. Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson. You're watching Reality Survival. So today we are taking a look at a pressurized jerry can from Hydra Blue. And this thing is a pretty cool product. And I think that it could, it could be a really, really good uh, item for preppers to have. Um, also for campers, for um, you know, anybody who wants to be able to have filtered clean water in a remote area or, you know, maybe even somebody who works out in the forest or, you know, something like that where, you know, you, you've got multiple people in a group and you need to be able to get some water and clean it up for them, make it, you know, make it pure to drink and be able to distribute it easily. Uh, this is a pretty cool deal. Um, it carries, it hold uh, 15 liters. In it, that's its capacity. And as far as the parts go, we've got we've got the pump portion here. And this is a this is a pretty uh, simple pump. All you have to do is, I mean, if you needed to to you know break it down or anything like that, it just you know kind of comes apart like that. And um, you know, it screws right back together. So pretty easy to use there um, and this is the side that you fill on here you fill it and then we've also got a little storage compartment here that you can store the uh, carbon pre-filter this is an activated uh, activated carbon uh, filter module and it is kind of the pre-filter it'll help remove chemicals and heavy metals and stuff like that and you can store an extra one, you know, right in there if you want. Or actually two, because you've got one on the other side as well. And then we have the filter element. This is the main filter element. I pulled off the, uh, the pre-filter there. And uh, this is, they call it the ultra filtration hollow fiber module. And also goes together pretty simply. You just give it like a quarter turn. And you pull it out. And then, you know, it's got these, these kind of clips here that line up with this hole and you push it in there. Now this is pretty cool uh, filtering technology, the uh, hollow fiber membranes. And this filter filters down to, uh, let's see here, uh, 0.1 microns. And then they have a separate module which is, and this is the first I've seen of this, is a virus ultra filtration module. Now this one filters down to 0 0.02 microns and it will remove viruses um, such as hepatitis A, polio, typhoid, intraviruses, and more. Now it doesn't remove all viruses and it doesn't claim to remove all viruses, but it will remove any virus that's bigger than 0 0.02 microns. So that is pretty cool because, especially here in the United States, waterborne viruses are not that common, but the ones that do occasionally appear, this one seems to be able to, um, to filter them out. So that's good. Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, and the other thing here is, is we do have a uh, shower attachment, kind of a, just a little you know, spray hose attachment, I guess. And this, this worked out pretty good. As you can see in the footage, it's not a really strong uh, stream, but it would be good for washing dishes and doing stuff around camp and, you know, maybe rinsing off, you know, a shower kind of thing or something like that. But not a, a super high pressure, you know, stream as far as that goes. But um, also, you know, it's, it's got a pretty good um, fill rate. I want to say it was one or two liters per minute. Um, but I think it was it was pushing it a little faster than that for us when we were doing it, you know, out of the truck. Um, seemed to, to be filling it up pretty quick. Uh, let's see. Have, look, I haven't had really any, any significant issues. The one issue that I had with this, and I think um, it, it might be something for Hydro Blue to consider, is uh, when I first uh, started filling it up, um, 
the the first time that I did it, the water was pretty mucky. I just mixed in some dirt and it was pretty nasty and everything like that. And I didn't pre-filter it. And that is my fault because the instructions do say that you should pre-filter the water. And so then I went back and I pre-filtered it and it you know, worked okay. Um, but the first, the very first time, um, I didn't pre-filter and this filter got clogged up pretty quick. So I think it would be cool if HydroBlue could come up with a way to put like a screw-in pre-filter screen down here on the bottom. You know, something that uh, just a little module that that filtered out the uh, the water to a small enough level that this filter wouldn't clog up. So just a thought for the manufacturer. Um, other than that, this thing has uh, has worked pretty well. Um, you know, it's. The, the one thing is, is when you, when you first fill it up for the first time, you need to let the filter module soak for about five to maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, and the reason that is, is you just have to let these, all these membranes get full before you start trying to pump water through it because it'll kind of spit and sputter and stuff if you don't. That's all in the instructions. It's no big deal. It's just something to be aware of, you know, before you guys, um, get ready to use it but you know even with the basic filter this thing will filter out all the bacteria the cryptosporidium giardia you know all the, the waterborne bacteria protozoa and cysts um, and then if you if you want to add the other filter it will also filter all those items plus some of the viruses especially the common ones that we see here in the united states so pretty cool deal um, it's all kind of a self-contained little unit and you know very portable very easy to move around and all that kind of stuff uh, you do need to pre-filter uh, the water um, as it stands right now like i said it'd be cool if, if hydro blue took a look at making a screen you know attachment so that you didn't have to worry about that as much but uh, as it stands this is the way it is um, the water um, is you know very clear um, well, I can't really tip it over so that you can see it, <laughs> but uh, um, let me see if I can. I'll just pour a little out so you can see it here. It's, it comes out very clear. Um, so as you can see, the water is very clear and it does taste good and everything like that. So there you have it. It does it does good job filtering out water. Um, it pressurizes very easily. The you know the pump works. You know very very easily it's not a hard thing to pump up or anything like that only takes about I don't know maybe eight or ten pumps to get the the tank pressurized um, and it's it's really just it's a pretty easy deal to use now the other thing is is these filters will uh, last up to 10,000 gallons and you know with any any hollow fiber um, technology you really have to be careful about getting it clogged and um, the good thing about this one is, is it's very easy to back flush. If it does become clogged, all you have to do is, you know, basically pump water back down through this the opposite direction. I just took it to my faucet, stuck the faucet against it, and, it, you know, it'll come out real easy. It's not a hard deal to do at all. Um, so, you know, as far as maintenance goes, that's pretty much the only kind of maintenance that you could have on this. You might need to maybe put a little bit of um, uh, lubricant you know, on the, um, on the rings and seals, um, but you could probably, um, you know, use any kind of a, like a silicone lubricant or something like that, and it would probably work great. Uh, let's see, what else do we have on this? Okay, so you guys have seen me taste it. I think it tastes pretty good, so let's go ahead and do a kid taste test, see what Xander thinks. That tastes very good. You like it? It's a 10. It's a 10. So it tastes as good as water coming out of the filter, you think? There's no aftertaste or anything? I love I love water out of the fridge, and this tastes like, almost like water out of the fridge. Cool. So it's like a 10. Thanks, bud. Uh, Price-wise, it's about $169 uh, from hydroblue.com. I believe that's the address, and I'll, I'll throw the address down in here as well. Yeah, hydroblue.com. And they have a full line of water filters. They've got several other kind. They've got a sport bottle. They have a, a survival straw kind of uh, filter. 
and um, I think they've got one that's sort of like the Sawyer Mini as well. So um, pretty good stuff and it seems to be built pretty well. It seems to be pretty heavy duty and I think that it's, you know, it's a pretty good product. I'd probably put it around an 8 out of 10 stars if I had to, to guess and really the only uh, big downside on that is the, uh, the pre-filter like I mentioned earlier. Super easy fix, I think, for the company, and it would make it more field user friendly in more rough environments where the water has a lot of turbidity in it and stuff like that. But uh, actually, it's pretty cool, and you guys can check out their website to learn more about it and to pick one up if you want. Uh, I'll also try to throw a link to it on Amazon if I can find it on there as well. Well, guys, as always, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.